Kaka here and welcome to Kahoy Diary. So oh my gosh, this is our very first podcast episode and thank you so much for being here. Um, I decided that I wanted to do a podcast mainly because I don't know, siguro yung mga new here, um, usually kasi with my platform or like my social media platforms, I usually like to share my feelings, my random thoughts over on maybe Instagram stories, Instagram feed, o kaya sa YouTube ko, yung mga silent vlogs, ganon. But I always feel like limited yung mga kaya kong masabi doon, like kunwari pag Instagram, through words, Hindi naman ako ganun kagaling in crafting words, I guess. And with YouTube, parang feeling ko na kapag sobrang haba na niya, parang hindi na siya, like, alam mo yun, may optimum time for, like, an emote. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sure that you guys get what I mean. So, I feel like with this podcast, pwede akong, like, chumika ng kahit ano or kahit kano katagal. And I personally really, really enjoy listening to podcasts, especially when I work. Nag-multitask ako, nag-work habang nakikinig ng podcast. So, I hope that you guys do that too. So, if you guys are working right now, o kaya nag-chillax lang kayo, about to go to bed or something, I hope that you guys will enjoy our chit-chat together. And as always, this will just be going to be a safe space for you and me. Very intimate, very casual, chikahan. So, for our first podcast episode, naisip ko na parang okay na ano, um, about myself, like sharing about myself since first episode nga siya. Maybe some of you guys don't know me yet, especially sa Spotify nga. Pero naisip ko na parang masyadong self-absorbed yun na puro about me yung topic, ba? So, but let me know if you guys want that. Like parang mga facts about me, parang ganun. Pero di like, sure. So, I just decided that I'll make my first podcast episode all about self-care, self-love, um, yung mga talking about our insecurities, body image, ganon. Because I myself am very like passionate about that topic because of course I had my fair share of experiences on those. And I wanted it to share it with you guys because I feel like this isn't just a self Thing, like in the process of it all, hindi lang naman ako yung nakapag changed para sa sarili ko. Definitely nakatulong yung mga friends ko, mga kakilala ko, people I look up to, like um, people that I just see online, ganon. So I just wanted to have my fair share and I'm hopeful and hopeful ako na makatulong to sa inyo. So yun! Um, chikahan lang as usual. So there, um, siguro let's do a story time, diba? Um, for me kasi, um, definitely insecurity is a thing. Um, it started way back like grade school, of course, when we were young. Parang at first, we were just too naive about everything. And naalala ko talaga na I'm that confident type of person. As in, bata pa lang ako, sobrang extrovert ko na talaga. And I would be that type of girl who would join in Teacher's Day performances, Christmas party performances, and all that. Sobrang mibo talaga. As in, laging like, marami siyang miscongeniality levels talaga ako. And then, um, come grade school, um, Doon na siguro yung nag-hit sa akin. Kasi syempre, parang bata ka nga, parang hindi mo naman alam kung ano yung mga nangyayari, technically. Um, like, my friends would... Actually, they're not my friends kasi they bully me. Um, siguro kasi minsan, nung grade school, parang unintentional lang na parang um, bigger... Hindi naman bigger, like pointing out um something na hindi usual sa hindi usual sa akin na usual sa iba pero ang ganoon alam mo yun kasi parang in general like there's a really a norm especially in every country parang sino ba nagsabi na parang dapat maputi ka dapat ganito yung face mo for you to be in ba parang iba iba naman din kasi talaga yung beauty of standard but of course parang we we wouldn't know that especially when we were young so people would point out like an insecurity of yours like maybe for others uh, maybe their skin tone or maybe your eyes maybe like for me yung chin ko because syempre 
parang ano like hindi siya normal parang siguro mas mahaba siya compared to the typical I guess ganon pero who would also say na it's not normal to the typical di ba so ayon grade school people would point out that about me nga tapos um like I'm sh- siguro naman na yung mga friends ko na or like mga classmates ko na yun na they wouldn't think that it's something harmful or it is considered as bullying pero parang for you na didibdib mo na siya hindi mo expect na it would be something that would be affecting you ganon and I vividly remember na may book fair na no, ng grade school tapos bumili talaga ako ng self help na book na kalagay parang Self esteem, yun yung title ng book kanon. Tapos parang hindi ko na maalala ano laban ng libro na yun, pero alam ko na self esteem siya and I really needed it that time. Imagine na grade school ako, tapos I bought that book. Really says a lot about the situation na I wanted to address it, na I want to fix something about myself na um, hindi ko alam ko anong kulang, pero alam ko na may mali, ganun siya. And then like come high school, um, yun din. It continues. Like, people would point out something na um, ma-offend ako, ma-hurt ako, and yun. Parang alam mo yun. Usually kasi, um, kahit na hindi naman in-intend intend ng mga tao na awayin ka or like, i-bully ka about it, pero ikaw, sobrang nakukonsume siya sa head mo and slowly, na sa cycle na yung brain mo, naniniwala ka na with them that you're ugly, you're not pretty, you're not normal, or like, um, may mas sikat sa'yo or something, ganon. So, yun, nawar na sa brain ko na. I didn't like it and I really hated it. I remember like seeing my face in the mirror, like joking at my my face in the mirror. I, as in right now, ginagawa ko siya kasi may mirror sa harap ko, pero um, just seeing myself, I didn't really see myself as beautiful. Like, I feel like, bakit ganun? Bakit lagi may tanong na, bakit hindi ako ganun? Bakit hindi ako napili? Bakit, bakit ganun? So, you always have that doubt sa sarili mo na lagi kami pagkukulang na it's like never enough. Ganun yung feeling. And, yun, I remember looking at myself and not feeling proud of myself, not feeling confident yon as in yun yung keyword i guess so yeah para na isip ko na lang na buti nga extrovert ako at least nakapag perform ako in all parang doon ko nalalabas yung confidence ko through dancing through cheerleading and also with my group of friends kasi syempre madaldal may tendency nga na madaldal ako so i have that like ano naman like group of friends pero parang naisip ko din na what i i also have those um, classmates na tahimik and like some alam mo yun, yung mga bullies or bigger them make fun of them na akala mo play play lang or like joke joke lang pero parang what if sobrang dilidib nila yun and hindi natin alam eh, kasi nga ako parang extrovert na nga ako na offend ako what if para pa kaya sila ba so i really want to urge you guys to think twice as with anything that you say out loud kasi minsan unsolicited advices lang yan or like unsolicited comments that you would say na akala mo okay lang pero for other people it's like a biggest insecurity or like what if um, that is something na hindi sila happy about or like ayaw nila pag-usapan ganun so yeah, I just want to remind you guys that and check up on your friends also. <laughs> Definitely check up on your friends. Kasi syempre parang nung wata naman tayo, parang alam mo yun, parang akala mo happy-happy lang. Like very naive nga na hindi naman natin priority ang mental health. And we really didn't know that may mga depression, um, mental health problems, anxiety, and all that, you know, na parang akala mo, sad ka lang. Parang that's the general term of it na. Hindi ka lang masaya, sad ka na. Yun lang, ba? Without us knowing na ang dami pa palang layers to it, and it's an actual sickness that we really didn't mind before, ba? So, ayun. Parang for me, din, ano lang, parang slowly din na ko lang siya overcome, pero parang I'm not really genuinely happy about myself. And like, I would go out, I would be really scared if like, may cat callers na parang, ano mo yun, biglang may sasabihin na, ha, parang mama mo, parang ganun. Okay, yung mga kids, lalo na yung mga street, na, mga kids sa street na parang, pag hindi mo binigyan ng pera, parang point out na something, ganun. Tapos, kapag kasama ko yung friends ko, sabihin nila yun, parang, 
I mean, to sabi ng mga kids na yan in front of my friends, I would sometimes act like as if I'm okay, but I'm really not. And yun, yun talaga yung parang mukha kong strong enough, but I'm really not. Yun, yun naalala ko. And then, yun, para everything just, just I just put um, things past behind. Ay, paano yun? Ano yun ako yun sabi ko? Um, basta yun. So, I, I think college came. And then, I think okay naman. Like, alam mo yun, medyo nagpa-progress siya. Pero it's not, like, vividly. Ay, hindi naman. Like, alam mo yun, parang um, happy naman ako. Like, I get to continue my daily life. and Pero yun pa nga, may something na kulang pa rin. Ganun yung feeling. And... Um, ah, I remember having a big, that biggest crush with my, um, with my ka school, and nakakatawa lang na I would always think na may mali sa akin. <laughs> like I would always blame myself because yun nga kasi nga hindi ako like physically, like may insecurities ako physically, so I would always blame myself na. Bakit hindi niya ako gusto? Is it because hindi ako maganda? Parang ganon. Lagi ko biniblame yung sarili ko. Which is, dapat hindi naman talaga. Kasi syempre, lahat naman tayo may iba-ibang taste. Like, hindi naman lahat natin makukuha. Kung yung crush natin, hindi naman technically kailangan nila tayo i-crush back. Ganon. Pero yung sad thing about is, is that with the process of like liking someone, you will always like wreck yourself na lagi mo ida-doubt yung sarili mo na bakit hindi ka niya gusto and yun yung sad about it kasi syempre sobrang naalala ko yung mga times syempre na ngayon may nagtatawanan ko na lang siya pero naalala ko yung mga times na yun na pa emote emote pa si C nakala mo end of the world na and nakala mo na parang alam mo yun guguho na ang mundo hindi ka like wala lang magmamahal sa'yo parang ganun but I assure you guys if you are in that stage na hindi ka masaya in love wise. Wow, gusto ko yung love na yung topic natin <laughs> about body ano ka. Well, self love din naman din yun. Consider it as self love. Um, ayun. So gusto ko lang remind you sa inyo yun, guys. Like segue lang na okay lang yan. And dadating talaga yung panahon na iaalot sa yun ni Lord yung dapat na sa yun. Um, yun lang. So, huwag nyo guys i-blame yung sarili nyo na hindi kayo maganda. Bakit hindi kayo maganda? Uh, like, sasabihin yung sarili nyo na hindi kayo maganda kaya hindi kayo gusto ng crush nyo. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure na you are beautiful enough, you are wonderful enough, and dadating yung para sa'yo. Hindi mo pa lang siya nakikita, hindi ka pa niya nakikita. And the timing will come. And as with everything, the timing will always come. So, yun. O, di ba nga, college na. Tapos, I think, pagdating ng... Ah, like, for me kasi, I guess, yung turning point would be finding the perfect... Like, hindi na perfect. Like, finding the best group of friends that I would be more comfortable with. Meron kasi akong group of friends na we enjoy traveling. Tapos, we love going to the beach kahit weekend, ganyan. Punta lang kami La Onyo, punta kami Zambales, ganon. And of course, parang gusto mo, like, gusto mo maging confident sa body mo. So, you guys would wear, like, swimsuit, like, bikinis, umabot sa point na ganon. And, kasi guys, parang feeling ko na for other people, hindi siya big deal na magbibikini ka, ganon. Pero kasi for me, like, growing up in a Chinese school, sobrang close-minded talaga oh my gosh as in parang tipong kunwari high school couples mag-holding hands lang sila issue na yon lande na daw yon parang ganoon so parang like what the hell like so parang sobrang close-minded talaga so feel ko nga maybe some of my batchmates or like some of my schoolmates would probably see my photos right now like bikini photos posting like pinopost ko yun siguro baka ginajudge na nila ako pero like we don't care we don't mind kasi nga uh, like hindi naman yung point kasi of posting a bikini photo is for lust or like thirst trap parang siguro for other people yun yung point nila pero parang for me I felt like posting it because I was confident in it regardless na parang regardless na hindi naman ako sobrang payat hindi naman payat yung thighs ko hindi ganyan kaganda yung blah 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 parang ano mo yun you can always point out so many so many things in like my body pero all I see is ang ganda ng photo kasi happy ako sa body ko ganon na parang I 
wouldn't want it any other way. Na of course, I siguro parang gusto ko na mas mapayat na konte. Pero parang alam mo yun, parang seeing that hindi ako nandidire na ihak ayoko kadiri ayoko ipost ganon. So I guess dud ko na na realize na parang ano na um, I am somehow or somewhat confident with the body that I have already. And yun yeah, definitely na hatulong yung group of friends ko. Kasi hindi ako na hihiya. Like kapag nag bikini ako, parang hindi naman necessarily na sobrang payat ko nga ganun. Pero hindi ako na hihiya na uh, wearing it with them, wearing it out in public. Um, yun. And the best part is we would actually lift each other up. Parang alam mo yun, wala naman takay. Like kunari, may mga group of friends ako, may mga friends ako na um, medyo mas chubby ng konti, ganun. Pero parang hindi mo naman sasabihin doon sa friend mo na, ay, laki mo, huwag ka magbikini. Parang ganun. As in, kami yung type of friends na, woo, go girl, go girl, ganun. So that is the hype we need. And you guys should find your group of friends na ganun na would hype you up, di ba? So, genuine friends talaga. And I really hope you get to find that if hindi mo pa sila nahahanap. Kasi, just thinking about it, imagine na having a group of friends na sobrang plastikan lang na parang um, nakikita ka nila na kunwari, may, may flaws. And technically, hindi naman siya flaw. It's like God's blessing. So, let's not call it a flaw. Pero parang if hindi siya norm, which is really sad. Pero parang, kunwari, ganun yung body mo, tapos parang pipilitin ka nila in doing something that you're not comfortable, tapos parang, alam mo yun, parang ang fake lang ng lahat. Parang hindi mo talaga magigive out. Hindi ka talaga magsashine with the wrong people. And I guess, I had my fair share of that too. Siyempre, parang hindi naman lahat ng friends mo magsistick tayo, sa'yo. Ay, ko nakagat ko yung likod na labi ko. Hindi naman sila magsistick sa'yo through time. So, it's really okay to just I collect that group of friends na would stick to you until a long, long time, di ba? Hindi yan kailangan na marami kang friends. Hindi kailangan na miscondigenerally ka to everyone. You just need that solid group of friends. So, ayun. Um, yun nga, I mean, speaking of the topic ng wearing of bikini, kasi nga naalala ko na way back, like, I think high school, parang ganun. Um, Siyempre, parang gusto ko siya itry kasi nga cross-minded people during that time. So, let me try, explore, ganyan. Because I just wanted to be comfortable with my body and like flaunt what I have. Kung ano ba yun, di ba? Tapos parang, I guess, some of my, yun nga, schoolmates would um, parang um, like low-key low point out na di ko kasi gusto magbigini eh. Kasi masyado nga yan. Para alam mo yun, parang inaano ka, um, she, hindi naman siya ni Shade. Alam mo yun, parang nagpaparinig lang siya na huwag ka masyadong ganyan. Like, huwag ka masyadong uh, over, like, exposing yourself. Parang ganoon. But, I guess, may mga tao din naman talaga na very mas shy in that aspect. And, I guess, mas mga tao na mas comfortable with it. And, that's totally okay. And, let us not force our friends or, like, the people we know to do something na hindi pa sila comfortable with. Dahil hindi lang siya normal, di ba? Like, hindi, pag, hindi, parang huwag niyo sabihin na KJ kasi may mga tao talaga na, of course, ang um, insecurities naman natin, ano siya, hindi siya sobrang, hindi siya kung pwede madaliin. It's a process. And self-love is definitely a process. Kasi nga, tingnan nyo guys, ako parang nag-start siya na grade school. Parang ngayon, hindi ko naman masasabi na sobrang, sobrang, like, confident na ako na wala akong pakialam sa kahit ano. And imagine ilang years ng process of ano yun, of growth and I really feel like you get to learn as you go and grow as you go through time um, hindi naman siya sa age but definitely through experiences you get to grow um, mentally emotionally kasi of course yun nga through experience siya parang hindi mo siya masasabi na uy 30 ka na dapat marami ka nang alam parang imagine na 30 ka na Pero wala ka masyado na experiences. Wala ka talaga ang maaalam, di ba? So, yun. Um, I definitely feel like it's a process. And I'm just really happy right now na I'm at that place na confident ako, na happy ako na 
Uh, kapag nagma-vlog ako, okay lang sa akin na kahit walang makeup, kita yung eye bags ko, namamalat yung lips ko. Of course, um, sometimes naman I want to be presentable with you guys. Pero I shouldn't. Um, gusto ko lang din kasi ipakita yung um, mindset na nasa bahay lang naman ako. Bakit kailangan sobrang bongga? Parang ganon. Tapos, um, yun. Taking pictures ng nakikita yung flaws. Well, hindi naman nga siya flaws. Pero alam mo yun, the not the standard, not the norm. And I urge you guys to do that. Na wag, kay, um, wag yung masyado i-overthink na hala, hindi ganito yung ganito, ganito. Kasi nga, parang ikaw pa lang mismo the thought na um, comfortable ka with your bare skin, comfortable ka with your own body, um, regardless of that norm makes you extra beautiful. As in, kitang-kita mo yan. Um, imagine like seeing that shine kahit na naka-normal clothes ka lang. It's all in the aura, I swear. Um, it's all in the confidence. Like, me, kunwari nakita ko online, people posting online, siguro on the chubbier side yung mga tao, o kaya, um, basta parang ganun. And the like seeing them in bikinis, swimsuits, and flaunting it, ramdam na ramdam mo talaga yung energy that people give out, which is really, really good, and it really changes everything, eh, di ba? Parang imagine, ikaw nga na may body ka, pero hindi ka naman, like, alam mo yun, parang fit ka and all, pero, um, medyo gat, hindi ka confident with your actions, ganon, ramdam talaga ng ibang tao yun. With self-love, definitely, may mga factors na kailangan i-consider. That would be mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, of course. Um, with mental, kasi, syempre, kailangan mo ipaalala talaga, i-stick talaga sa sarili mo na you are beautiful. Um, if hindi ka stable mentally, you would really believe what other people are saying, what other people are pointing out, and ang bilis gumuho yung utak mo if nakinig ka talaga sa kanila. And of course, emotionally factored din naman yun alongside with mentally. And lastly, spiritually, because ang saya lang ng feeling na with every struggle that you are feeling, you'll, you know that there's someone guiding you. There's someone that you can lean on to. You can go to with all your problems, with all your dilemmas. And you know na may mangyayari, na may better outcome in the future. And nakakatuwa lang yung thought na yun na you are lifting everything onto him, di ba? And naisip ko lang din na, of course, with our insecurities, parang may times na if sobrang insecure ka talaga about something, you can always address it. Actually, nakakatawa nga right now na mas open na tayo sa mga um, surgical operations, yung mga ganon, yung mga retoke, di ba? Kasi syempre before, parang kapag ginagawa mo yun, parang kailangan mo pataguin, o kaya people would really say something bad about na, ah, retokada lang naman yan, ganon. So I think nakakatawa lang din na mas open na tayo about that topic. And siguro, if you are planning to do like those surgical operations, maybe think about the reason why you really want it in the per first place. Kasi napag-usapan din ito na ng, namin ng friend ko eh, na parang medyo two things siya, na, na parang bakit ka ba magpapagawa? Parang first is because insecure ka na ang dami nagsasabi na hindi maganda yon. So I mean, you really have to do it because for yourself, not because people are saying that about you. And yun, parang kailangan decision mo talaga siya because gusto mo na maging happy ka genuinely, not because may sinasabi yung ibang tao para sa'yo, di ba? Na kailangan mong ma-feel. At the end of the day, we shouldn't really have to um, base our our feelings or like our happiness through other people. Nasa sa'yo yun. And yun. Uh, pero of course, parang nakakatakot. Like for me, nakakatakot naman na magpa-operations na ano, di ba? Non. So I guess, okay. Like for me, somehow, like okay na ako. Especially like, like posting 
siguro online, somehow a validation. Pero like sharing it online, you guys would say na parang maganda and all. Alam mo yun, like compliments. Would, and it really touches my heart. Not for the sake na bola-bola talaga na parang gusto ka lang mag-validation. But it's really nice to hear. Kasi imagine na people would say all bad things about you. Yun nga, syempre napaprocess ng mind mo na hindi ka talaga okay compared to like people complimenting you. Mas na-absorb mo yung mga good things about you. And you put it into your heart, into your mind, which is really good. And um, I just want to set an example by by posting then um, like confidence in my in my social media post then. So I guess para medyo napapahaba na tayo. I just want to end this podcast by answering a few questions that you guys sent me. I asked you guys over on my Instagram stories kasi if you want to share, if you want to get my advice or like something about yun nga, body image, insecurities, and all that. So, yeah, let's answer a few of them. Question, what can you advise po to someone who overthinks a lot and experiencing imposter syndrome? Definitely, ako yon. That is me. I think, siguro, up, up until today. And it's really normal. And I think na what I do to ground myself and not overthink a lot would be first to make myself busy or like to make myself... Um, do a lot of things. Kasi usually, kapag mas marami kang free time, mas marami kang time mag-overthink and mag-isip ng kung ano-ano na hindi mo naman, naman dapat iniisip. Kasi hindi mo naman dapat pangunahan ng mga bagay-bagay, di ba? So, uh, di ba? <laughs> Ramdam niya yung ano ko eh. Um, yun. So, keep yourself busy. Like, hindi ko naman sinasabi na mag-overwork ka, di ba? Pero parang pwede kang find a hobby, find a sport na, alam mo yun, no-brainer na hindi mo kailangan masyadong mag-isip-isip ng ibang bagay. So just focus on all the things that would make you better, like read a book, uh, like invest in yourself. Definitely yon. And with imposter syn- syndrome, yun nga kasi nga para ang bilis na makinig lang sa kung ano yung iniisip mo. And I'm sure na whatever you're thinking or all those imposter thinking that you're thinking is should it really be um, what is happening right now and um, feel ko naman lahat tayo may mga ganong thoughts and um, wag mo lang pansin it girl definitely and just continue what you do and just jive yourself like work on yourself focus on yourself and definitely mawawala din yung mga mindset na yun pero syempre once in a while babalik din at babalik talaga siya but you really have to remind of yourself of your goal, what you want to achieve because isipin mo na lang na kung overthink ka na overthink wala kang mapapala so might as well just do the job as in do the process of it all kesa mag-isip ka na lang ng kung ano-ano negative na hindi mo naman alam na baka namang hindi mangyari diba? So ayan sana makayanan mo girl because I totally feel the same way um Next question is, what if you're trying to be confident about your body but still, kapag may chance ka, nahihiya ka pa din? Of course, kasi hindi naman dapat like sobrang confident ka na um, with that everything that you do. Parang may mga parts pa rin talaga sa body mo na ayaw, ka, ayaw mo pang ma-expose. Ganon. Hindi naman kailangan na on the spot kailangan confident ka na. Di ba nga? It's a process. So, maybe slowly just to do it or like siguro hindi naman siya about swimsuit lang or something. Like maybe your beautiful face that you want to flaunt more. Ganon. So, I think na if you like put yourself out there more and more, you'll get the hang of it. Um, yun nga, di ba? Experience talaga siya. So, try mo lang and try and I'm sure na eventually magiging comfortable ka din with your body. And just don't rush yourself kasi nga, hindi naman siya in a snap talaga na, ooh, confident na ako. Next question, where do you start in loving and accepting the flaws and scars of your body and how? This is all a matter of changing your mindset and your perspective. Para, do you want to depend your happiness and your sanity based on what other people see, what other people will say? Or do you just genuinely want to be happy because it's your body anyway, diba? And nobody has the right to tell you what to feel. And I feel like 
it's really changing of mindset and be deciding for once na you're just tired and done of pleasing other people and feel ko aabot ka na lang talaga sa stage na bakit ako mahihiya it's my body di ba so i think the beauty of it is that one day maglulok ba ka na lang and marerealize mo na you've come so far and from doing something na hindi ka pa confident about to doing something now na you're comfortable in doing already really means a lot and definitely yun nga process pa din talaga siya i'm sorry if i keep on repeating this but it's really it yun talaga yun na hindi talaga siya kailangan madaliin hindi siya flick of the flick of the switch ba yung term doon na instantly may mangyayari and it's more on battle of the minds talaga and eventually really deciding that you want to be happy for yourself. Next question is how to accept that you are not really loving the current version of yourself and how to improve? Actually, I think this is quite the same with our previous question. First one, um, acknowledging it is already like the first part of that change actually. Na you realizing na hindi ka comfortable or like may something na mali and may gusto kang i-change. Acknowledging it is already a step closer to your goal, di ba? Um, yun! And the thought, the fact na alam mo na, na may gusto kang i-improve, the next step is what? Is actually doing it, is actually changing your mindset and being open to that change. You really have to allow yourself to just take it all in, you plan it, and you do it one step at a time. Like, don't overwhelm yourself. Kasi ako, like honestly, ganun din talaga yung nafe-feel ko right now na... Of course, I want to do so many things, but most of the things are out of my control, and I have no. Like, hindi ko siya pa de madaliin, kasi of course, minsan kapag minamadali mo yung mga bagay, dun talaga nagi hindi okay yung outcome, de ba? So yeah, just take one day at a time and take consider those steps as one percent closer to your goal, and everything will be eventually okay, de ba? I really can say na there won't be down moments. Definitely, meron talaga. Kasi yun naman talaga yung process of change. Eh. You can expect change to be like from 1% to 100%. Like everything will fluctuate. Para siyang stocks, di ba? So up and down talaga siya. Pero eventually, makukuha mo talaga siya. I think I have to end this podcast because I'm just blabbering for too long. Which is actually the point of this podcast. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy and let me know. Um, comment in the YouTube section. Because I think sa Spotify para walang comment section. But you guys can like feel free to message me over on my social media platforms and everywhere. I'm just a message away. So yeah, thank you so much for listening to my um, life quintos and all that. And just comment down below if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys want me to talk about, to blab about, diba? So yeah, I hope that you have a good day and good night, good morning, good afternoon. Bye! Bye!